welcome to the vlog i've just arrived into the gold coast and i have an ocean view which is so awesome but you can't really see anything because it's night time but in the morning this is going to look freaking beautiful just you wait today i did a four sector day <laughs> so i actually packed from melbourne to sydney then operated sydney melbourne melbourne sydney sydney gold coast so it's been a pretty long day today it is 10 30 p.m <laughs> and i'm so tired i'm ready for bed it's pretty like minimum rest so we're here for just over 12 hours i believe maybe like 13 hours something like that so i'm not going to venture out tonight because it's too late but i think tomorrow morning i'm going to venture out before we start work and stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna get out of my uniform and have a shower and get on with my layover. So I'm currently exporting video as you can probably see there but while that's exporting I kind of wanted to like talk to you guys for a little bit because there's a lot that's been happening. First of all I want to address Mickey. <laughs> if you don't know who Mickey is he was a stray cat that we found. He just appeared on our windowsill one night. We fed him then he ran away but the next night he came back and we fed him and then we ended up taking him to the vet the next day but he wasn't microchipped or they couldn't find his owners or anything like that so they took him to the, the lost like dog or cat shelter thing it's been about five days since we have taken him to the vet and every day I've literally been looking at videos of him and Braid and I have been like missing him and I, I know it just kind of feels like there's a bit of a void in our house and we just I don't know we just like feel like we've created this bond maybe because we named him <laughs> I don't know but yes I, we don't really know what to do because we're thinking of maybe adopting him but we obviously want his owners to find him first and for him to go back to his owners because they probably miss him. Then again, maybe they don't care about him because he wasn't microchipped or had any contact details about his owners or anything. We kind of spoke tonight about potentially adopting him and oh, I would really love to adopt him but like right now is a really bad time for us because we are actually heading to Europe and we're going to be in Europe for like five weeks so I feel like we can't really adopt him and have him for three weeks and then we'll have to figure out what to do with him or who can mind him for five weeks while we're gone so we feel like I don't know it's a bit selfish for us to adopt him yeah we're not sure but we just know that we love him and we want to adopt him I think we're gonna try and talk to the place that he's at and see like if his owners have found like have been in contact and if there is a possibility of potentially adopting him and when that might be and also maybe there's a potential to keep him there until we come back from Europe but then we feel that that might be selfish because what if he can go to a home straight away and just you know be settled in another home anyway so we're thinking about all these things we'll have someone house sitting our house while we're away but maybe they could look after mickey while they're house sitting but then we don't want mickey to form a bond with someone else that's not us because then when we get home he might not know who we are and i don't know that's probably selfish as well but we're just not really sure what to do but we just know that we love him already <laughs> i don't know it's not really like life update as much but it's just like i guess the situation that we're in right now and maybe i'll keep you guys updated throughout the next vlogs we just love him i just keep looking at like photos of him on my phone and he's just so cute like look at his little face there's a um, photo of him on the lost dogs pound thing and mm, he looks a bit sad maybe you'll see us with mickey maybe you won't see us but we miss him oh and yeah and the other update is we're going to europe for five weeks which is so exciting we're, we're going to london iceland amsterdam paris nice cinque terra florence sorrento Rome and Portugal <laughs> so it's gonna be a really big trip and it's my first time to to Europe it's Braden's first time to Europe so obviously we're hitting all like the main touristy spots but yeah we're so excited and I'm definitely gonna vlog while I'm over there so I'll probably create like separate videos for each place that we go to and like give some like travel tips and like best things to see and like all that kind of stuff. If you're heading to Europe or planning a Europe trip, look out for those videos. I'm so excited. Part of me like just wants to stay home so we can just adopt Mickey and just have him <laughs> for the whole time. It's currently 1.30. I really need to get to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. 
Good morning, Gorgos. Oh my gosh, look at that view. It looks so nice. Wow. So I just woke up. This is the fit. Yeah, I'm wearing a denim skirt, which I never really wear, but I was like, oh, it looks really nice outside. So this skirt was just from Maya. Um, this is from Kmart, I think. But yeah, I'm a bit sad because I was meant to meet a friend for brekkie, but I completely slept in and missed it. So I'm just going to head out for a little bit, see if I can get some brekkie, get some sun, maybe see the ocean. I don't have much time, but I just want to get outside because it's such a nice day. which is so yummy. Um, I got a takeaway because I don't have time to sit down and eat. So I'm just heading back to the hotel now. Probably just gonna eat this as I get ready for work, to be honest. It's such beautiful weather here. I'm glad that I came out even though it was only for a little bit and I'm so hungry. So I wanna eat this aside for right now. I went to this place called The Lot One. I kind of just saw it on the way back to my hotel and I was like, you know what, I really feel like in the same bowl. Especially when the weather's like this, I just feel like it. But I low-key wish that I bought the acai bowl first and then went to the beach and like sat in the beach and ate it. Maybe next time. This is so good though. We've got pineapple. Mm. <laughs> on the way to work so I ended up convincing Brayden to drive me to work <laughs> just so nice of him but I was just desperate so he's gonna pick me up today which is nice because I don't have a car <laughs> and then I have a day off and then I go on the competition trip that I won to Perth which is really exciting oh it's gonna be so awesome the competition comes with like you get a free GoPro and I got a GoPro just in the mail just before I left for this trip and I didn't have time to unbox it so I'm so excited to like go home and unbox it and play with it. I have a GoPro already but this is like the GoPro 11 which is like the newest kind of version and yeah I'm excited to like play with it and see what it can do. Ew, my hair is so ratty. When it's ready, there's a few things I do. I use this little stick. This was recommended to me by a friend. It's basically like a, what do they call it? It's like a gel, a hair slick gel thing. But you can use it for your eyebrows as well. So it's like multi-purpose. But when I have like flyaways and stuff, I just like to use this just to make it look a bit more put in place. Usually I'll straighten my hair before I put it up, but I didn't realize how ready it looks. So we're just gonna straighten it in my ponytail. I really need to get a haircut badly. I'm gonna do my makeup out here because the light's so much better out here than in the bathroom. I've been using this Emco Beauty like a brow gel and it's been really good. I've been really enjoying it. It looks like it has like fibers in it and stuff and it not only gels your eyebrows but it also like makes them a bit like darker and stuff. Also, I think I've thought about Mickey like five times today already. This is a mascara. I've been using the Sky High mascara. Had a few people ask me what mascara I use. This is the one. But to be honest, I have naturally long eyelashes so don't or necessarily think that this mascara will give you like long eyelashes, does that make sense? It's just good genetics from my Irish side. Okay, so I'm all ready for work. Today we're flying from the Gold Coast to Melbourne and then we're doing an Adelaide return. We finished around 9.30 p.m. tonight, so it's not too late, which is good. Hopefully it's a good day. a bit of a weight, a bit of a Daniel's Donuts, aircraft change, 
um, and then we are doing our Adelaide return now so coming in live. I've got to end this vlog so I thought I'd just pop on here and say thank you for watching. Braden and I are currently editing and having lunch in Amsterdam right now. Anyways, hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.